Hello out there. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is Alpha Wisdom and I'm Mystic Cassandria. This channel offers lessons in how to read palms and I've prepared the lessons in a way that you can grasp things very quickly and you feel confidence. I'm making sure that you will get it right, hopefully. Okay, today is lesson 50. And in this lesson, we're talking about the timeline, which is known as the age on a line. Yes, you can tell. When we talk about the future, remember its potential because you don't know what's going to happen between now and let's say next year or next month. So we always be careful to say the potential, your potential future. You always have control over that. So if you may have plans now, when the uh, future comes for that now, it may not turn out exactly as you see. But enough talk. Now, I just want to point out, this is the regular rule or ruler that you can use for measuring. The one that I use that I recommend is this one, the protractor. Remember this from high school days or junior high or elementary math classes. Okay, let me put these away. Let's get started. All right. Today we're focusing on the lifeline. And I have done measurements for the lifeline. Zero is the age that you start with when you're born. Just a minute, let me move this from here so we can see. Okay. All right. The age when you're born. So we see zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And since we're living longer, I put 110 there. On the inside, where the thumb ball is, we have five. So we have increments of five. Then, of course, 10 is there. 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105. And then we end with 115. All right? So... We look at the timeline or numerical age to measure and get an accurate account of the past, present, and potential future events in, our pers in a person's life. When there are breaks and various disruptions on a line, a rough idea of when an interruption occurs and ends can be gauged. That is true. The age on the line for the lifeline starts at the edge of the palm between the thumb and the index finger, where I showed you, and curves around following the lifeline to its end at the base of the palm. The lifeline can be timed in increments of 10 years and also five years. So it could be five to 10. From birth to rule, sorry, from birth to well into old age around 100 plus. Now, if you are considering becoming a reader yourself, you have choices. If you feel more comfortable going with five in increments of five, that's up to you. You handle it with, your, with the way you are more comfortable. If you want to use 10 increments of 10, 20, 30, 40, and so forth, if you prefer increments of all of it, be my guest. Just be comfortable where you are. So that's how we measure. So let's say the, it's on the lifeline. If there is a blockage there or disruption in the line with that timeline, you could tell when that happens. All right? Eventually, as you stay with it, your intuition will kick in and you will be able to tell what happens. If the person is sick, inter in, the intuition gives you more detail on the sickness. 
But that doesn't come right now unless you're very intuitive and you're pretty much using your psychic ability. It tends to come as you are ready for it. All right? So that's there. Now, let's take a look at another example I have for you. Oh, sorry, not that one. Here it is. Here's another timeline. And you'll notice it goes up, lines head toward the fingers. Now, this is another way. This is a way that I use. I sort of created this myself. Someone else may be using it, but I like this one. Uh, especially if it's someone who was concerned about their lives and they're like, mm, before age 50. I could easily do it this way. All right, here it is. Another way of determining the timeline for the lifeline is to focus on the fingers. Look at the space between them and their width. In this way, you are given a helpful addition to, de addition to determining the age of the lifeline. All right, so zero, five. You see where five is? 10 sits in the middle of the finger. I'm looking at the index finger. 15 is between the 10 and the 20. So if there's a disruption there, you can see that somewhere between age 15, wherever you spot it, I'm going to say between 15 and 20. I usually see some disruption, something going on there. That's teenage years going into adult age. All right. Then you would be able to tell the person or tell yourself when this happened or when it's potentially going to happen. And it will happen if that lines, that uh, lifeline stays in the disruptive state it was as you looked at it. All right. So then we look at 20. 20 is the space between the two fingers. That's the middle finger and the index finger. And then 25 is in the center of that Saturn finger, your middle finger, and 30 between the middle finger and the ring finger. And in the middle of the ring finger is age 35. Between the uh, ring finger and the little finger is age 40. And then in the middle of 40, 45. And from that point, I just go, I could go further, but I don't have any more fingers. So I go back to, I apologize, this, we're going to run over a little bit. All right. <clears throat> then we go on to 50 and so on. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and plus. All right. So we see how that is. I hope you're clear on this. Remember, zero starts right on that edge. That's when you come into the world. That's when you're born. And then you can figure from there. Now, all you have to do is look at the quality. Look for signs. Now, in uh, very soon, we will be going into signs that you see on lines, but you are already familiar with what a di disruptive line looks like, a line that is broken and separated. It's all energy. And then we're talking about disruption of the energy. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. All right, here we have age on fingers for head and lifeline. All right, this is like an exercise. I placed islands on the lifeline. And I placed islands on the head line. Let's take a look at this. That first island occurs just below the 10th birthday. I'd say around eight. If you said seven and a half, that's good. If you said eight and a half, that's all right. If Even if you said nine, or you said around age nine, or between eight and nine, that's all right. That's how it's done. Let's look at, look, look at the second island. When does that occur? You see, they passed the age of 10. We're looking at the lifeline. And you could see somewhere between, since it's like halfway, you can easily say around 15. There's a block 
in the uh in the lifeline. Something is going on. Okay. Now let's take a look at the third island on the lifeline. Look at that. It's right underneath age 25. So if you're reading for yourself or for someone else and you see an island there, you can tell them there'll be a disruption in the energy. And you could see that it's gone. Looks like it's gone by age 26 because it doesn't extend out. Sometimes islands do stand, extend uh, more than a year. They can go into two or three years. I've seen them go to five years. So be on the lookout for that. Now let's take a look at the headline. They are doing fine. Until around age 25, it could have started around 24, but it's very close to age 25, and it stays there. And here comes a big island, the circles. These are islands. And it continues on to almost age 30. So with this person, it's probably stress on the line, trying too hard, these things can happen. So you can tell yourself if it's your palm that you must watch it, okay? That's very important. So this is how it looks. Now, after we've learned all of these timelines, because we're gonna cover the fate line in the next lesson, then we start putting it together. We'll do readings just to see if you've really digested this, okay? So in addition to the lifeline, we will cover the fate line, which is also called the career line, the heart and the head line. Some uh, palmists don't use those two. They focus mainly on life and fate. It's a feeling that maybe the heart and the head are not as uh, accurate. Uh, they're not too comfortable with that, but at least I'll give you the exposure and you can judge for yourself. Okay, finally, when we are the controller of our lives, we are the controller of our lives. We can change any part of our life. When reading another person's hands, always remember what you see now can change within weeks because minds change, situations change for the person. So if you see islands or blocks on a line, do not give, please don't do a doomsday interpretation. Give them bad news, that's what that is. Instead, state what you see and give a positive statement as to what the person can do about the situation. You can always tell them to change your diet or relax and rest more. Exercise, get out and enjoy nature if that's possible, to pull yourself out of this situation, and etc. There are others, but I just put a few here for you, okay? All right. All right, I hope that was clear, and we will be talking more about it, so if you didn't digest it very well this today, uh, you can look at the video again, or we'll see another one. Well, if you like this, then please give a thumbs up. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. I know many of you have, and I've read some of your messages. I always answer them. I will. I mean, I do it the same day, but you will get an answer from me. Okay, so I do appreciate the subscribers and uh Pass the word around. There may be other people who would like to have a career in palmistry. That's my goal, to make sure that you understand and you get a palm, become a palmist yourself. Maybe in the future you'll be on YouTube. Okay, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Stay safe. Have a good week. And till next time, bye.